Doug Manchester has made a lot of news himself since buying the UT last year. Take a look at this. He has said he wants to buy the North County Times, build a mega sports complex, develop his land in Mission Valley, and now he may also own the Orange County Register. And besides all this, after announcing its endorsement of Carl DeMaio for mayor, the UT's editor was taped telling Nathan Fletcher of the paper's anybody but Filner attitude. Just what is new owner Papa Doug Manchester up to? Joining me is Voice of San Diego.org CEO Scott Lewis. Thanks for being here, Scott. Thank you. Lots to talk about. Okay, yes. let's start with the Orange County Register. Is he or isn't he buying this paper? I'd bet on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that he will. I think that it, there makes there's some sense to it in the sense that, you know, they both print papers and printing is the most expensive uh, and distributing is the most expensive part of running a newspaper. So if you can consolidate some of those functions, that would be a good business decision. And then, um, you know, they could probably combine some editorial focus. There's a lot of uh, San Diego uh, residents who appreciate Los Angeles area sports and things like that. So there will be some interesting uh, consolidations, but also, you know, a growing empire. Exactly. We, we've heard already that he's expanding to television news. Yes. Um, we see some of that happening uh, in terms of building a studio. Now, in terms of editorial direction with the paper this weekend, was it a surprise when the paper came out and endorsed Carl DeMaio for mayor? No, it was not a surprise. What was a surprise was that they put it on the front page. So it said Carl DeMaio for mayor. And it wasn't even the front page. It was more important than the front page. It was a wraparound cover. Can I tell you what I thought when I saw that? Uh, so I get the paper every morning. I thought, oh, Carl DeMaio bought an, an ad. ad. Yeah. Yes. I thought, that must have cost so much money. Yeah. And then I kept reading, oh, no, it's but an that's, editorial. That, that illustrates how powerful it was because it would have cost a tremendous amount of money. And if you think, everybody says, well, what does the newspaper's endorsement matter? Well, it's not just that. It, this would have been like 300,000 signs overnight uh, uh, arriving on people's front steps. You know, the Carl the Mile for Mayor and a reason to do it. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, Doug Manchester, by buying the paper, has now been able to distribute more media than he ever would have uh, done as an individual investor in the political process. It was a, it was a very interesting and, and powerful move. And it came right after another unprecedented thing, which was the release of tapes from uh, Nathan Fletcher's interview to get that endorsement uh, for mayor and, and revealed really uh, some very interesting worries at the paper about the brand of the Republican Party. Let's give people a little bit of background yeah. on that. So what happens when you're running for political office? You can sit down with right. the newspaper's editorial board. They ask you a lot of questions, and right. they decide who they're going to endorse. And this was tape. There was a one-hour tape recording. Nathan Fletcher's campaign released it. Right. And on that tape, you have Jeff Light, who's their editor, saying what? The editor-in-chief was saying, and he wasn't, he was the chief inquisitor about Nathan Fletcher and, and what he could say to this board that would make them feel good about being Republicans and still supporting him. So basically, you know, basically they kept saying, you have, by leaving the Republican Party in that big grand show that he did, you have hurt that coalition of people known as the Republican Party who are trying to get power and, and influence. And so, you know, that makes us mad because we're with them, basically. We're, and it's, it's, one, it's one thing for the paper to be conservative, which it always has been, or even, you know, for years before the, the last owners. But it's another thing to actually be part of that coalition of people trying to get power. And that's a much different attitude. And this was the editor-in-chief, the editor of the paper, who was expressing the most concern about this. And I think that what that reflects to me is that continuing discussion about the future of the Republican Party in San Diego as they try to deal with what is, I think, an existential threat. If he, as Nathan Fletcher, is able to succeed, then he has blazed a path away from the two parties uh, towards success and a new coalition of, of leaders. And that would be really powerful. We have uh, not a lot of time okay. left. I just quickly want to touch on these condos because not only are we seeing him build a media empire, right. but also develop land. Yeah, well, the Mission, uh, Mission Valley headquarters of the Union Tribune is in a prime spot right next to the freeway. He wants to put a big Times Square type thing up and a bunch of condos. Uh, he's a real estate developer at heart. This is a natural investment. Great. Scott Lewis, thanks for being here. Thank you.